throughout my life, I realized there's different ways for me to love someone. It can be loving someone because of friendship. It can be loving a family member. Or it can be loving someone who doesn't even know you exist. And in this case, I wrote this because I like somebody who doesn't feel the same way for me. I met him in the seventh grade. I didn't know that the boy who sat next to me in science class would end up making such a big impact in my life. I didn't know that in just four years, everything would change so quickly. So we're junior year of high school, and he's still in one of my classes. But every day at school feels like torture, because I see him all the time, at every corner, with his girlfriend. I even saw them outside of school one time on a date, which was just so awesome. <laughs> but what do I do when this boy doesn't treat me the way I want him to? I do just like any other writer would. I write about it. So I did, and I wrote this piece called Drought, and it perfectly describes how I feel about him, his girlfriend, and my heartbreaking situation. My heart has a feeling of uselessness and pain, but somehow your presence makes me feel so sane. I bet it eases your pain to express yourself through art, but I hope you know I wrote this with a broken heart. I hate it when you avoid me because it makes me stressed out. Because you're the water in my garden and I'm currently in a drought. Your girl is a real keeper when it comes to beauty and laughter. But she won't write a poem like this because she has her happy ever after. And now I bet you're wondering if this poem is about you. So I'll prove that it is by telling you it's true. And it really has been like this for quite a while because he's everything I've ever wanted and I just can't get him out of my mind. Nothing is more uplifting and fearless than his piercing blue eyes and bubbly personality. The fact that he isn't afraid of taking risks and lives his life by looking at it as an adventure. The way he's so focused on his work, especially when he's doing something he loves. Or how passionate he looks about what he's drawing during class. His love for music, singing, and acting. We have so much in common and he doesn't even know it. And he's so different than anyone I've ever met. The fact that I can't have him makes me feel hurt hopeless, and empty. The poet Aram Jake wasn't lying when he said, we feel empty because we leave pieces of ourselves in everything we used to love. And looking back at what I've done, I guess that's why I feel so empty. But somehow, this boy taught me that love doesn't always mean brutal burning, but bright sparks that can start a wildfire of compassion and dedication. Because love is faith. Love is my relationship with God. I become a better person every day thanks to him. And when I feel so alone and feel like nobody understands me, I know God does and I know I have him to guide me through my life, my choices, and my decisions. I've learned to love my failures because they've always led me to an opportunity much better. And I love that everything I wanted didn't happen because it led me to something that I didn't know I would ever want. And God was in control of all of that and that's why I love God. This boy also taught me that I should love myself even more because getting heartbroken made me find freedom and the capability to look back at my mistakes and use them to better myself. He's made me learn that it's important to value the love I have for myself as well as the people around me. There's nothing wrong with knowing my worth and what I truly deserve. Lastly, this boy taught me that nothing lasts forever except love. And I know there will be more of it I'll meet someone else, someone who sees me for what I am, someone who is ready and waiting for me. I may love future children, future pets, future in-laws. There will be more, more time, more love, more me. But there will also always be him, however, small in the distance, a girl feeling faint and shy and hopeful watching a blue-eyed boy in science class, hoping against hope that one day I'll look up.